I was born in uh, Tijuana, uh, Mexico, but I was raised in like San Diego. For the entire uh, third grade, we actually commuted from Mexico to San Diego to go to school. And it was just, uh, that was like a two hour freaking thing. Like we'd wake up at like four in the morning, like go to like the thing, like show, us, show them the green card, go take the trolley like all the way to Southeast San Diego. And it was just, um, it, it was such a commute. And it's funny cause we'd get there earlier during that way. And then when we moved across the street from the school, I was always late. I went to art school in uh, Tempe, Arizona and Collins College and uh, got my uh, degree in animation. When I came to Vegas, it was just like, I found the arts district here. And I'm like, okay, let's, you know, let's see if I can get into it. I started doing like shows like every first Friday of the month, like the outdoor tents or the sidewalks and stuff like that. And I eventually started like getting more people recognizing my work. And then about one year after I started the arts district, I uh, created the, the little bunny character that I work with now, which his name is uh, Felipe. And the reason I call him Felipe is because that was my little brother's name. He passed away at birth. And um, I did a show, an entire show on this bunny, and it was um, called A Collection of Self-Portraits That Look Nothing Like Me. And the show was actually very personal, and I was just like doing a character that I could actually speak on what I'm feeling at the moment, what I'm dealing with. There's People that I've always admired in the arts community here in Vegas, and one of them, his name is Danny Roberts. He's an amazing artist. We're, we're hanging out, and he's like, look, I like your stuff. It's really clean. It's done really well. He's like, the problem is that when I leave your shows, I don't remember any piece. He's like, you're, and I'm like, okay. He's like, you're not, you're not saying anything with your art. You're kind of just doing stuff, and that's fine if that's what you want to do but I have a feeling that you have a message that you want to share with people. He's like, try this. He's like, do a show that has one reoccurring character and make it as personal as you can. So I went home and I was just like, I was just looking at my sketches and trying to figure out what to do. And I've always drawn bunnies. You know, I grew up watching cartoons since so I actually learned how to speak English in Mexico watching Saturday morning's cartoons. And my family actually thought I was crazy because I was speaking English to the point where I went to therapy for about six months because they were like, he's speaking in tongues. And it wasn't until my cousin from San Francisco showed up, they were like, who taught the kid English? And I'm like, told you. I always drew bunnies. Those times where you just sit down and you just start sketching and you're not paying attention to what you're sketching, I was sketching bunnies. So I came up with the concept of um, almost like a bunny costume, like a onesie. And... But instead of, I, of putting my face in it because I didn't want to do it, I was like, okay, I'll put a mask on him. It was so emotional seeing no emotion on him. And I get so many emails, so many people contacting me. They're like, thank you. Nobody's been able to tell me exactly how I feel. I haven't even been able to point out how I feel until they see it in front of them in such a simple way. I don't even have a tattooed on me, and people, people do. Every time I do the bunny, it's always the same seafoam green, but I always, I always have to eyeball it. But the funny part is, and like people are like, they're like, do you like, you know, do you like green? I'm like, you know, the funny part is, I actually hate green. <laughs> I, 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 I detest the color. Like I can, it makes me sick to my stomach. If like the first car that I had was green, I don't even know why. The, you know, it's like the, my birth song being green. It was just. I hear, it's just the dumbest things like the house that I grew up in was green and it was just it's just random mm -hmm. and it was like it just made sense like the happiest things in my life have been green even though I don't like it if I start a piece I have to finish it as soon as possible because if I sit back and I stare at it it's like it just bugs me and I want to change this so then I start like questioning myself and I'm like all my paintings and everything that I do is always like the best ones are like the gut reaction towards like there's a reason why that was the light bulb that went off 